a film autopsy of Terribly Happy. Terribly Happy, a new Danish film. Um, intriguing title. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit in terms of what it's about? How would you summarize the plot? Well, it is about... It's set, of course, in a small town, a very small town in Denmark, where a police officer has just moved over there from Copenhagen. And we have some backstory of why he has moved, but not too much of the detail. And uh, he goes over there because the previous police uh, marshal has sort of like, is not there anymore, let's put it this way. And there was an older police marshal uh, that simply has not been replaceable. And so people have actually yearned for that. And, and then events unfold over there. There are interesting characters in the film. And ultimately, this movie is about, I wouldn't say a normal life in a normal <laughs> town, but I would say a, a, a town full of quirky characters, but it's not a ha-ha funny film. It's a normal day in an otherwise very bizarre little, and word you used earlier, tribal tribalistic kind of town. Um, one thing I'm thinking about the main character um, in terms of describing him and his situation, I think initially we get the sense that he's very much a fish out of water. Here comes a big city cop now for whatever reason is posted way out in the countryside, nowheresville, and so we get the sense, okay, here's this upright cop and uh, he's got to deal with all these kind of country bumpkins. But as the film progresses, he starts to, um, unwittingly, uh, but all the same, starts to fit in with the kind of ethos of the town. That the central character is not a clear-cut good guy, nor a clear-cut bad guy. Uh, he doesn't have full agency. There is this impression that he's, he's getting manipulated. But on the other hand, he can also flip a switch. And so he's a really, I mean, in terms of um, very interesting, morally ambiguous character. And I think uh, it's, uh, he takes certain actions which you can clearly say, uh, no, uh, th this is not the right thing to do for a protagonist. But I think it was interesting that he's not a full hero, nor an anti-hero, for example, like a Bonnie and Clyde type film or other films. Right, right. And it's interesting that... that I think you found that to be one of the stronger points of the film. I felt just the opposite. I thought his character, especially about within within like uh, the first 30 to 40 minutes of the film, I was getting a little fed up with the character in terms of how he his kind of his inaction or when he did choose to be assertive. I thought he was being assertive and kind of ridiculous or, you know, in ways in which I thought he would have known better. But some things I did like about the film is definitely the atmosphere. You get the sense that you are in the middle of nowhere with this film, yet it's very claustrophobic. It gives this feeling of it's a small town um, surrounded by bogs and roads that seem to go to go nowhere underneath, you know, uh, a, a kind of perennial cloudy gray sky um, but at the same time um, there's a kind of density to the film I think it seems it feels very concentrated that everybody seems to know each other's business um, and uh, there's really no breathing space and something you brought up was that it's interesting he has to leave the town in order to clear his head and by leave the town we mean he just goes and drives out on a country road yeah he would always sort of like we would see him like taking a deep breath outside, but when he leaves the town, you still don't see any other town around. All you see are these roads or signs. leading to nowhere, no signs. But this movie can also be set up in, for example, nowhere, nowhere New Mexico or Arizona. I mean, this is a movie actually that the only reason why we know it's in Denmark, it's because uh, <laughs> they're, it's, speaking Danish, they're speaking Danish. And they and, make references to Copenhagen. Right, but other than that, I mean, they're still wearing cowboy hats, for example, yes, which is very right. interesting. And and rest of the field, and it's a little dark and bleak, and whereas normally when we see uh, the westerns, you have actually, the sun is oppressive. You have mm -hmm. brightness that is oppressive, where here everything is dark and dreary, which goes well with the Danish perspective uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, perspective on that. 
Uh, anything you did not like about the film? I did like the actor. I thought his performance was very good. I had a little bit of problem with um, the screenwriting. I thought, uh, particularly for his character, his motivations, or what I would see is kind of his lack of motivation. At, at too many points early in the film, I thought he was just reacting to situations. But come on, this guy, is a, he's a police officer. He's been through the academy. He's, he, he's a cop coming from the big city. So I found it a little unbelievable that he finds himself in this small town where basically he's not in control. So um, ultimately, I'm not sure if I can recommend this film. There's things I liked, but ultimately, I think there's other stuff out there you might have a better time spending your time with. But okay, somehow. well, I mean, I, I really liked the film. I loved the film. In fact, I really enjoyed it. Um, however, uh, two qualifications. I do think there were a couple of inconsistencies in, in the film. Uh, but what I would say is that, uh, is this movie for everyone? Uh, no. Uh, and it's because it's a little bit of a downer, despite the name, terribly happy. Well, no, it, it, it's, it's a bit of a but downer. Terribly and it's, and, happy. <laughs> and, it's, uh, and it's suffocating, I think. Um, and so that is, I, I think it's there. So if you are interested in looking at what's going on in Scandinavian cinema or international cinema regarding quirky, uh, the influence of films uh, of Coen Brothers, for example, Tarantino, for example. I think example. a little bit of David Lynch. David Lynch. I think if you are looking for those kind of films, I think this is a very good example. Yeah. And and I would say, yeah. I mean, if you are adventurous, uh, definitely see the film. Mm. Uh, if you like standard films, I think that may be a problem. But, so I say leave it in the bog. All right, well, well <laughs> autopsy would be much easier in the bog. Yeah, so. well preserved. We'll, we'll examine it 200 years from now. Okay.